Welcome to Pictera, the self-serve AI platform that allows you to extract objects from 2D images. We hope you enjoy this product demo, showing you how Pictera works and how it could be applied to your own projects. The appeal of Pictera lies in its flexibility. Users can design their own machine learning models, called detectors, to find any type of object that they want. This is all done without coding, meaning that anyone is capable of using Pictera. The point of using Pictera is to use machine learning models to do work that isn't scalable using manpower. I'm going to show you some examples of what this could include. In this example, we have counted vehicles across a city for traffic flow analysis. In this example, we have counted all the trees in a plantation, which you could do before and after harvest in seconds. In this example, we have categorised the crops by species. This is a small image, but it could be done over huge areas. In this example, we have found bolts and clips. This could be done over hundreds of kilometers of track, saving people from doing it manually in dangerous and laborious conditions. In this example, we've outlined all of the cracks across a parking lot, some of which are only millimeters wide. Many clients use Pictera to track changes over time. So for example, here we're monitoring solar panel installations over four time points. Here we see the solar panels and here we can see how they've been installed over time. And this can be compared to a site plan to check that everything's on schedule. The golden rule behind using Pictera is, why do something manually that a machine could do for you in a fraction of the time? So which kinds of objects can Pictera find? The answer is what you want to hear, it's anything. Pictera can be trained to find any clearly recognizable objects. The beauty is that you can train it yourself, so it's extremely flexible to find whatever you want. The only requirement is that you have to have enough clear examples of your object of interest in your input images. So for example, if we return to this previous image, we can very clearly see the trees. We could count them as human beings, and that means we can train the software to count them too. However, in this image, which is taken by a satellite instead of a drone, the resolution is much lower so we as human beings couldn't count these trees, it's too vague, too pixelated. However, what we can do is see which areas are natural forest and which areas are plantations. And so we can teach the software to do that too. And again, we have examples of how this changes over time. So what is the Pictera workflow? Well, step one is that you upload your images. These could be drone or satellite images, or indeed any images taken from above looking directly down at the ground at 90 degrees. You then pick the detector, which you've made earlier. You run the detector across your images, and the detector pulls out all of the things that you want to find and delivers your results. Let's talk about the imagery in a bit more detail. The input data needed for Pictera is 2D images in GeoTIFF format. These images could be taken by drones, planes, satellites, or any other device that looks directly down at the ground. 
Images can be RGB, that's normal visual images. They can be multispectral, hyperspectral, thermal or SAR. But to be completely clear, the following data types cannot be inputted into Pictera. 3D models, such as point clouds, 2D images taken at angles other than 90 degrees down at the floor, and videos. What results can you expect from Pictera? Well, results can either be exported as digital reports, which I've been showing you throughout this demo so far, and these can be shared with your colleagues or your clients via a link. Alternatively, you can export raw data files of the extractions. These include shapefiles, GeoJSON files, KML and CSV files. How do you build a detector? This is probably what you've been wanting to know all the way through, so let's jump into another demo and I'll show you how. So this is how you would start building a detector. In this case, it's a detector to find buildings. You start by uploading just one image. This is an author mosaic image from drone photographs. And detectors are built by training the software to recognize your object of interest by giving lots of examples. So you start by drawing yellow boxes. These are input boxes and annotating all of the objects of interest within these boxes. Here is a different type of building, a very different shape. So we have to show it that this is also what a building looks like. When you've given enough examples, you can test how well the detector has been trained. So you draw a red box like this. You run the detector in its current state across this area and it will pull out everything it now believes to be a building. So you can see the results here are good. It has missed buildings with no roofs. In some areas, it's not perfect. So here it shows us we need to go back and give a few more examples. So you would go back and add in some more yellow boxes, give it some more input data and teach it in more examples what a building should look like. Once your results are up to the accuracy standards that you want, then you can deploy this detector across large images at great scale and frequency. So here we have the image again and if we run the detector across it, it will find all of the buildings. This is successful result. We can see that the buildings without roofs have not been detected and the buildings that we wanted have indeed been detected. You can take the same detector and run it across other images. So here we have a different cityscape. We've run the same detector across this and again it's found all of the buildings. As with previous examples, you could run the detector across the same area multiple time points to see how the city is developing over time and potentially expanding. If you like what you've heard so far, then you might want to know what Pictera's business model is. Pictera is a subscription-based software a SaaS platform, you pay for access to a license and you get a specified number of seats for a specified amount of time. We have a plan for small medium enterprises which auto renews on a monthly basis. This is suitable for small projects or limited budgets. We also have an enterprise plan which is contracted on a yearly or a multi-year basis. This is suitable for large scale more complex projects and comes with full technical support and tailored onboarding sessions. If you're interested by what you've seen today, you can read more about Pictera on our website. I particularly recommend that you visit our blog page to see what other users have been doing. Thanks for listening.